Now I want to focus on if I'm the Wall Street analyst, stock researcher, uh, stock investment banker, I would pay attention to which activity out of three activity, all foreign activity. So here's my own creation, my own three quick test. If I'm analyzing, if I'm analyzing Jamba Juice here, Jamba Juice, right? Analyzing Jamba Juice. So I I got the oh. Uh, cash flow statement, three activity. I'm talking about bigger picture now. Instead of going into any detail line item, at least I'm looking at the operating activity as a category, as a whole category, Jamba Juice. Operating cash flow, I say indicator of, for operating, operational health. You know, from you know, beginning of accounting 1A, you know me, right? I'm always making accounting, connecting to medicine. Accounting as medicine, I think, is a close, right? Operational health, right? It's kind of a stethoscope you're putting on the patient. Is it healthy or not? But I'm not talking about it because mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Mm -hmm. Quack. <laughs> Q-U-A-C-K, Quack, right? <laughs> my last name, you remember that I told you I cannot go to medical school because of my last name? <laughs> Who would go to Dr. Quack, right? Medical. School that, oh, you cannot be a doctor. <laughs> right. So anyway, uh, so it's all about this kind of a testing. It's a testing, like a vital sign testing, right? EKG, chest x-ray, blood test, you do that, right? In chapter 18, by the way, chapter 18 was, what is chapter 18 all about? Ratio analysis, trend analysis, vertical analysis, all those are I'm always making an analogy of the medicine. When you go to the hospital, don't you do all that vital sign check? Then, you know, nurse comes to you know pumping, pumping your arm, up, right? What, what blood test, a uh, blood pressure test, and all that. That's this. So, operating section of activity. It, for first question, isn't that a really simple question? Is it positive? What do you think I asked that question for? I've been saying that. Uh, so my example is I'm talking about this example. <coughs> What's operating activity in this company? Twenty-two. Uh, cash flow, what I meant. 22,000. Is that positive? What does it mean if it's positive? Infinity. That's Infinity. inflow. So, okay, that's inflow. What does that mean? Can I push you one step at a time? So, that's, yeah, that's inflow, that's positive. What does it imply? This co corporation, the end of corporation, at least they are generating cash for that year. Internally, externally? Internally. Internally, that's right. right, because of operating activity. By doing what? Whatever they are doing. If it's Intel, they are selling semiconductor chips. So that's a good news. Uh, that's the first thing. Because if it's a negative, what does that mean? If it's, neg if it's, a po it's not positive, what does that mean? They are not generating cash on their own operation. What does that imply? Then they, have to, well. they have to go outside. Or owner has to come up with more cash out of each owner's pocket into the business, additional investment. Or go to the bank. Or, as you said earlier, selling their own asset. They had land. They had why they had land for, so they can build a new office in the future. Scratch that plan. We don't have money, so let's sell the land. See, corporation is shrinking instead of growing because of cash needs. See, cash, you cannot survive without cash. Right, so is it positive? Is it greater than net income? Or smaller than net income? All right, so now, what was the net income? Yeah, you have a handout, but I'm showing you what happened to my uh, 15,000. Some reason I push a lot of buttons here. I don't know what did. Okay, so right here, one. What's going on? You put a bunch of spaces. Yeah, well. Anyway, so right here, here's the income statement. Net income, bottom line, $15,000. 
by the way, is it this fifteen thousand dollar figure? Is it cash? Please answer my question or try. <laughs> fifteen thousand dollar. That's is it equate to cash? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Well, in fact, you want to see how much cash? Two thousand two, only one thousand. So fifteen thousand. That's a figure. Accounting made figure. Artificial made figure. They are playing the ball game here. Okay, we try to have a class here. All right, so 15,000 uh, the figure. But please pay attention. It's a $15,000 including depreciation expense. Please physically looking at that. Depreciation is 10,000. So 10,000 is part of 15,000. Can I say that? Everybody following me? 10,000. So if you didn't have 10,000, would you please pretend you didn't have 10,000 depression expense? What would have been the figure here? Thank you. Bingo. 25,000. Why do you think I singled out depression expense? Because it's not the cash flow. Very good. Right. Somebody had a good accounting 1A teacher here, right? Accounting 1A, when I talked about that, depreciation expense, that's a unique, one-of-the-kind expense, I said that. Why one of, that's depreciation expense, that's different from other type of expense, pg and expense, phone expense, salary expense, insurance expense, tax expense, in life, so many expense, interest expense, so, but depreciation expense is very unique, it's almost like a, Ghost in expense, ghost. <laughs> That's expense? That's the only kind of expense that does not entail movement of cash. Cash, yeah. I, I do this kind of lecture to Chamber of Commerce, small business owners. They are like 60, 70 years old people, right? Local Chamber of Commerce. You know what do they say? during the class. That's my favorite expense. <laughs> <laughs> the owners, the small business owner, that's my favorite expense on my income because I don't have to pay cash. Right? Isn't that very interesting? So, so uh, what, what's the topic? Cash flow. We are talking about this now because I just want to pay your attention. Anyway, so how come it's different? That's the question. In, in this case, it's greater. Yeah, there's a great, oh, no, actually, yeah, it is greater than net income. It is great, but it could be smaller than in, net income. But again, please use the imaginary power here. What could be the reason that operating cash flow figure might be different, it's more than one answer, might be different from net income figure, anybody? Accrued revenue, all right. So what does that mean, accrued revenue? Joanne said accrued revenue, meaning? Cash not received. That's right, credit revenue. So it went to accounts receivable instead of cash. So revenue figure, including that as a revenue. So revenue is the top line of income statement, right? So, but cash didn't come in yet. So that caused discrepancy between Net income and cash flow. Very good. Another one, another big one? Accrued expense. Yeah, could it be accrued expenses? Lots of accrued expenses, right? Accrued expenses meaning? Mm. Not necessarily you are paying cash yet, but you are accruing it as an expense, such as a PG&E, yeah. salaries payable, lots of payable. But let's go back to asset side. Now, Joanne mentioned accounts receivable accrued revenue, not cash revenue, but uh, what's, uh, what's next to receivable in asset side? Big one. Inventory, think about inventory, right? Especially merchandising business inventory. You buy lots of inventory items, but you didn't sell that yet. <gasps> you just purchased one million dollar worth of inventory, you didn't sell it yet. So where's the cash? Where's the cash? It tied up with the inventory in your warehouse. Oh, that's my cash. You're looking at your merchandise. That's my cash. It, it tied up there. Nobody's buying. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, we're in trouble. Nobody's buying. But you already purchased it. Your cash tied down. So income statement. Let's go to income statement. Where, where is it? Where is the one million dollar? I just said that. One million dollar. You purchased it. Well, it's an in inventory. That's the easy one on balance sheet. But is it the one million dollar? Is that in income statement yet? No. It would have been if you had sold that. It would have been where? Sold. Yeah, but it's still sitting there at your premise in your warehouse. I know you spend one million dollar cash. So it's in the balance sheet, but it's not an income statement. No cash is not flowing, right? Cash is already gone out to purchase that inventory, but no cash coming in. So therefore, that's a problem, isn't it? That's a problem in terms of cash inflow. So that's a, those are two big items that is it greater than net income or less than net income? That's an indication for operational health. That's a problem. If it's smaller than, if it's greater than net income, that's good news. Okay.